Hello everyone, my name is Nathaniel Eldridge and I am uh, the owner and founder of Exitech Digital Solutions. Uh, we focus on different computer related uh, services along with um, computer security. And in that computer section, computer security section, I want to show you some things today on Facebook about spam and links to spam that will um, help you in the long run to stay away from these things. Uh, in the last, well, probably about year or so, it's become more and more popular to have apps, pages, and different uh, Facebook-related items that go that will that say they will tell you how many people have seen your profile or who's your um, biggest stalker and um, that's simply not true Facebook does not have any way built into the platform to track the number of people that view your profile and so by these apps saying that they can figure that out it's just simply not possible even if Facebook did track it itself it would not offer up this information to other apps and pages but I want to show you today how some of these work um, and specifically one, uh, the most recent one, verify your Facebook profile too. So I've got my David Spradlin account here and I want to show you what happens. So when we go over to this page we can see that it comes up and uh, if it's your first time to the page it will come up with the welcome screen. On this welcome screen it wants you to do two steps copying the script and putting it into the address bar. So I'm going to go ahead and actually show you what this does when I put it into the address bar. So when I copy this and paste it into my address bar, now let me tell you something here. This is the first warning. Warning number one. Never paste and execute scripts in your address bar. It is a um, danger and usually it's a good sign that somebody's trying to get around something. Facebook does not allow you to execute scripts by a link, so they have to have you paste this in so that it can execute that script. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click enter, and um, it's acting like it's doing stuff. And you'll notice on my regular account, um, some things happen. David Spradlin tagged me in a post. We can see that post here. Um, Right here is um, my David Spradlin post where it tells, tells me that um, David Spradlin's top viewers are me with 1,136 views and then there's three more um, that are blank. There's no names and they have different views. We also see that it tagged me in a link. This link takes me back to that original page and um, so that's uh, interesting. Now let's look at this post here in depth a little bit. If you notice, um, David Spradlin only has um, David Spradlin is only has one friend. I am his only friend. So we've got um, this coming up here with me as my friend, and then since I don't have, since David Spradlin doesn't have any more friends, it didn't list them. But it, notice that it still listed views, and I'll show you why it did this later. But it's randomly selecting um, people out of my friends, or out of David Spradlin's friends, to add as this. So it has nothing to do with how many times you've seen the page or uh, anything related to that. So let's actually go back to this link. Um, if you notice this script that we pasted in, and I can actually click on it and go to it. If you notice the script that it asks us to paste in, um, we go into it, it's calling, it's creating a um, script on the page. So let's dive into this script and I want to show you some interesting things about this script. Um, first of all, we're just going to go down the different lines of code here and t show you what it's doing so you can kind of see exactly how this works. When we enter this script in the address bar, it starts up here. First, it's creating a random number why um, it's used later on and I'll show you where it's used later on for um, for different things so the next thing it's doing is it is creating the chat message it's um, saying its first name that's that would be David Spredlin or David see who views or this would actually be Nathaniel in this case 
Um, if we go back, let's see, is David Spradlin still listening? Nope. Oops. David, uh, if we look here, I'm going to do this side by side so we can compare it. So um, it's going to create that chat message that we saw pop up when that we executed that script. Next is creating the message. This is the message that it's posting. Um, my top profile viewers, new line, and then it's um, doing the first person. And notice it's hard coded in to have 1,136 views for the first person. So it don't matter who does this, they're all going to have 1,136 views. Creates the second line, um, another person, and then 983 views, and so on and so forth, all the way down this line of this line here. Um, and then it also includes this link, so you can see the link here, and also that random number. The random number is in this case 1,000 or 11,405 that was generated up here because it's limited to uh, 999,000. No, 99. Yeah, 99,999. The next thing it's going to do is um, show us the, or come up with the redirect link. If we paste this in, it's gonna take us here. Um, pretty much nothing, just junk. Um, making it kind of look legit for people who don't know what they're doing. And then it's creating an event. Um, event description, here's the event description um, and it creates that event and there's the event name and uh, a few other things here we got number of friends and some debug code um, and then it's declaring a bunch of fu functions um, there's a function here to redirect the page, there's a function here to um, make a request. I'm not exactly sure what it's requesting because I haven't really looked at this very deeply. Um, and we keep going down here and then it's doing this function here. Um, probably executing code um, to create the chat messages and different things related to that. As we go in here we can see um, it's creating this page it's creating that page that you saw on here's the page please wait this can take a while and um, it's just sitting here pretty much doing nothing during that time that said it's taking a while just faking you out um, it's getting your account information such as your name uh, so that it can use that and then um, on down it's creating the event it looks like yep because there's the creating the event right there and uh, here's it's creating the chat message um, and let's see here's where it's creating here's where it's posting that message onto your wall um, to click that and you can see some random notice the random math in here this is where it's randomly selecting your um, your friends. It's just randomly picking for your friends who is there. And uh, then we've got some different things here. Here's the set. Look at all these timeouts. Set timeout. Set timeout. There's a two second pause. There's a two second pause. Uh, so that's where they're faking you out by setting those timeouts. So it looks like it's actually doing something, but really it's just um, built in to pause that long. So in the end you end up with somebody or all your friends tagged in a fake post and spam messages going around along with an event and really you haven't done anything because these are just fake numbers that are built right in. They're not even random numbers. They're all just built in so you can see that there's not a lot of good done to this. It's pretty much useless stuff here so um, that is how that link works so don't fall for it stay away from them remember that they cannot uh, get information from Facebook as to how many people have viewed your pro profile and they cannot get information from Facebook as to um, who has viewed your profile anything about that is not even saved by Facebook and even if it was it wouldn't be provided by the page or to the pages in different uh, companies and 
things like that. I know this from experience because I am a developer for Facebook and um, in